guys, John again over at Powerhouse. I have another one of our brand new engine builds up on the dyno. We just did our normal 20 minute procedure break in. Everything's working good. This one is for Malia. She's out of Hawaii and uh, it's gonna go on a 1969 VW bus. So this is our 1914 combo. Puts out about 120 horse. We're running the 44 Webers. We're running uh, Magnus Spark Distributor, 55 amp alternator, and the MST Renegade Serpentine Pulley. This one has the pink powder coat. Originally, I had uh, I was gonna put pink on the air cleaners as well, and we forgot to send them to the powder coater and we sent them to them late. So I gotta call back down there, see if she has them ready. Um, but I'll, I put the black ones on, which I actually like the black ones. So if we get the pink ones, I'll send those to you too, Malia. So Malia, thank you for choosing us for your new engine build. We really appreciate that. Um, Jerry's gonna come in in the morning when this is cold and go through the valves, run it under a load, a uh, couple more times, cycle it, and then um, we'll drain all the fluids and get this thing boxed up and on its way. Thank you uh, for your patience, and I can't wait to get this in. Keep us updated. Feel free to call us if you have any questions during the install. We're, that's what we're here for. Um, we appreciate it. Thanks again. All right, so you got this one all adjusted up, Jerry, this yeah, morning? Everything's good, yeah. Yeah, how are the valves? Loose, tight? Uh, I had a couple tight ones, a couple loose ones, yeah. It's all adjusted up, ready to go? Ready to go. Let's get it fired up, see how it sounds. Fire up. fumble I actually had to review the video and see what Jerry could have possibly been doing different to not be able to get that motor fired up after five attempts and then I walk up and it fires right up the first shot so Jerry and I have been friends for over 30 years working on these Volkswagens I know he knows how to start a Volkswagen motor I just knew he was doing something different the way we normally start a cold Volkswagen motor squirt the gas two times and then I hold the throttle open and then crank it over once I crank it over and it fires up I let off the throttle a little, roll into it a couple times nice and easy, it catches within a few seconds and then it takes 30-40 seconds to warm up and you're good to go. After zooming in, the five attempts that Jerry did, what I noticed is he squirted on one attempt twice, which was good, but he didn't open the throttle. He started cranking it before the throttle was open. And then once it fired, he just gave it about an eighth of throttle and it just flooded and fell down and died. When I zoomed in on the one I started up, what we did, what I did, is I squirted it a couple times, then I held the throttle halfway open, and then once it fired up, then I released it and rolled on the throttle a couple times and it was fine. But anyway, I thought I'd share that little video. Some people that might not have ever driven dual carb motors, um, this might give them a helpful hint to start it. When they get flooded, we hold it wide open, and then it clears out, and then you can you know rev it a couple times and it'll catch and it'll work good. So anyway, I thought I'd share this bit. But after that, we checked it a few more times and started it up, the thing worked good, and motor's boxed up and it's on its way. The header and muffler that you see on this engine in the video was off of another vehicle and only used to get this engine started up. The customer will be supplying their own header and muffler once they receive the engine. So the blue marks that you see on there, the heat marks, are from another engine, not this one.
do its rain, get it boxed up, and then uh, on its way to Malia. Yeah? All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks again, Malia.